Okay, here we're doing 7.2 still, which is the disc method or washer method, depending on your image. Um, for example, one, it says find the volume of the solid formed by revolving the region bounded by the graphs of f of x equals the square root of sine of x and the x-axis. Okay. Um, and it even gives me my interval here where x is between 0 and pi. So this is one of those cases where if I want to draw the region, I don't have to set the functions equal to each other because they've already given me the interval they want me to look at. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw this on this interval. So from 0 to pi. And then I'm just going to go ahead and grab a point right in the middle like pi halves okay well if x is 0 the sine of 0 is 0 and the square root of 0 is 0 so here I have a point and the same thing with the sine of x equal to pi the sine of pi is 0 and the square root of 0 is 0 so I have this point here but obviously there's got to be something going on in the middle because it's not just a straight line from 0 to 0 so let's plug in pi over 2. Well, sine of pi over 2 is actually 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. And so you have this curve here, part of the sine curve there. And so this is the region that they want you to look at. They want you to look between 0 and pi, and in between this function and the x-axis. So this is the appropriate region that we should be looking at, okay? Now it tells me that I'm revolved about what? I'm revolving about the x-axis, which means this is my axis of rotation, okay? So I'm taking this region here and I'm spinning it around this line of revolution, okay? What that means is that this line of revolution, um, and they call it axes, but not all the time is it the x and y axes. Sometimes it's a whole nother line, vertical or horizontal. So I like to use the word line of revolution, whereas the book might interchangeably use axes of revolution and line of revolution. So the line of revolution is horizontal, which means my rectangles are vertical because for this method, they have to be perpendicular. So I can draw a rectangle anywhere I want. I'm choosing to draw it here. Um, but that also means if they're vertical, then I should be integrating with respect to x, which is really gonna help me to set this up. So remember the formula, it says the volume equals So the formula said pi integral from a to b, a being the leftmost x value, the y, the rightmost x value of the region, and then we're going to have um, our radius squared. Now remember that this is our radius here, and so that height is actually just going to be our radius is going to be the top function minus the bottom function, which is zero. So we get just sine of x. So then my radius is going to be the square root of sine of x squared dx. Well, the square and the square really does help me when I'm trying to evaluate this integral. So those are gonna undo each other. I'm just gonna get the integral of sine of x dx. The integral of sine of x is negative cosine x. And then I still have to evaluate it from zero to pi. So we end up with pi negative cosine of pi minus a negative cosine of zero, which is negative negative 1 plus a 
I'm putting these two together to get a plus and cosine of zero is one. So inside that parent that bracket I get a positive one plus one which is two and two times pi is two pi. So the volume of this one actually equals two pi. And again, it's volume, so it should be cubic units, but we don't usually write this because they don't ever give us a unit uh, measurement. So we just leave it at that, okay? So let's go ahead and try the second example. So for the second example, we have Find the volume of the solid formed by revolving the region bounded by the graphs of f of x equal to 2 minus x squared and g of x equal to 1 about the line y equal to 1. I knew they were going to move it, it's not always the axes, okay? So let's draw this graph. Um, however, they did not tell me the x values or the interval in this case, so I do need to set the two functions equal to each other. And so then I'm going to move these two terms over to that side. I get x squared minus 1, um, which is factored, and then x equals negative 1 and x equals positive 1. So when I draw my graph, um, I'm going to use those values. So I'm going to use... Um, for this one, if I plug in negative 1, I get 1. And if I plug in 0, I will get 2. And then if I plug in negative 1 in here, I'll get a 1 again. So this graph looks like this in this interval. It's a parabola opening downward. Um, here, g of x is just equal to 1. So that's the line y equal to 1. But that also happens to be my line of revolution. Okay, So it is what I am revolving around. Okay, So bounded by these two graphs is this region in here. And if you notice, my region does entirely touch my um, line of revolution on that whole interval from negative 1 to 1. So I am still using the disk method, not the washer method yet. And again, my line of revolution is horizontal. So line of revolution horizontal, which means my rectangles are going to be vertical, which means I should be integrating with respect to dx. Okay. So I'm going to draw a rectangle here. I always do. Some people don't. I just always get the habit so I know how to set it up. So my volume should equal pi interval left negative 1 to the right 1 r my radius which is this rectangle here. Well what is that height there? That radius is going to be this function y value which is 2 minus x squared minus this function's y value, which is 1, okay? So that means my radius is actually negative x squared plus 1. So that is what's going to go inside for my radius. And remember, the formula does say your radius squared, okay? So if I use some algebra to simplify what's inside here, I'm going to just basically FOIL that out. So I'll get x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 1. And then I can integrate. And then I can evaluate. So 
so then I get basically I get two fifths minus four thirds plus two so let's see what that is um clear two fifths minus four thirds plus two and put that in a fraction I get 16 pi over 15 and so that is going to be my volume for this region as it um, revolves around that line y equal to one okay